A Studios. Step into a new dimension. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another DNA Studios episode or uh, another episode. Um, and before we get started, let me just introduce myself. Uh, my name is A. Goldman or Aaron Goldman. I am your host. And uh, today we are going to be talking about Spy Family. <laughs> no, I'm not a spy. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, Spy Family. Uh, that is what I wanted to talk about today. A really good series, really good. Uh, the animation is amazing. The uh, the story is really good. I really liked the story. Um, the only complaint I have with this one, guys, is the it's a little slow in the second season. But if you guys are not familiar with this one, uh, let me give you a little bit of details here. A warning, I will go into some details on this show, so um, be careful. There might be spoilers. For the first part, I'm not going to try not to go into any spoilers, but um, I will let you know when I start going into details. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't seen this one, um, go watch the show before you watch this. Um, anyway, with that being said, let's get into this. So, um, this series is, if the title doesn't give away, it's about, uh, kind of like your secret agent or your spy, uh, and also an assassin who team up to, to go on, to go on a specific mission and, you know, catch a big bad guy, which I will elaborate on. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so like, like the name says, the, the, no, the, the show is called Spy Family and it is about a agent named Twilight who is on a mission to capture a, uh, to capture a big bad guy, uh, from a prestigious family who is planning, plotting to, plotting to, let's, well, okay, without giving any details, he's plotting to do something really terrible. I won't, uh, I won't, uh, like I said in the beginning, I'm not giving any spoilers uh, in this beginning session. But and he's planning to do something really horrible. He ends up um, Twilight ends up teaming up with another with another assassin who is a trained assassin who is um, pretty awesome in, in skill, and they uh, together try to stop this big, you know, villain who is um, who is plotting something horrible. Uh, and then in this process, they end up uh, actually that to kind of their cover, their, their, their undercover, or at least their, their cover kind of story is that they're a family, uh, which they end up adopting a, a little girl who, um, who ha who's a telepath who can, who actually knows everything. And that's where the, this show kind of gets fun is that the kid, the, 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 the little kid who they adopt, uh, she kind of knows everything. Um, cause she can read their minds. So she knows that her father's a spy and that her mother is an assassin. Um, and that's where it gets really cool and really fun. Um, so anyway, so it's kind of cool. Um, the characters are really well done. I thought they, the, the way they flesh out the characters and the way you get, they introduce you to the characters and the de development behind it. It feels very like, let's put it this way. The beginning part of it feels very kind of James Bondy, very undercover, very, very, yeah. I guess James Bondy is the best way to put it. It's very much, uh, like a, like you're watching like Mission Impossible or like, a you know, Incredibles or like a, a well not Incredibles but Mission Impossible or like a James Bond kind of thing in the beginning uh, which is cool um, and then it kind of goes into from it, 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 you still have that James Bond feel but it kind of gets more kind of I guess more dangerous but also kind of um, it does calm down a bit later on in the show because they're they're undercover and they're trying not to be found out that, that that Twilight himself is trying not to be found out as a spy and he's undercover as you know just this regular you know normal father who is taking care of a kid uh, which you find out you know his his cover story and all that stuff um, in the show um, and it's really <laughs> it's really kind of cool it's interesting and then the mother is the same way who is this assassin this trained assassin who's you know really crazy but really awesome. Um, and so it gets kind of, kind of, it kind of calms down a little bit, um, during the show. And they, they do, they, they do focus the, the, the kid, um, or the, the child that they adopt, uh, they do focus on her, Anya. They do focus on her a lot in the, in the show where like she goes to a prestigious school and, and gets in and all that stuff to get, you know, get close to this bad guy who is plotting, you know, this terrible, uh, thing, which I'm. I'm not going to spoil now, but I will go into details eventually. Um, 
And so, so they do focus a lot on that. And then that, and then the first part, they, they keep you kind of on the edge of your seat and you, you there's, cause there's missions that go on and, and that's before kind of Twilight gets this major mission to uh, investigate this huge bad guy and, you know, stop this guy. Um, and then in, during the second season is where it kind of, it slows down a bit where they, yeah, they're still in, undercover and they're still on a mission. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, and so it, yeah, it, it slows down a little bit. The, the only thing that I have to say really, the only, my biggest thing is in the second season, when it slows down, there's a lot of focus on kind of Anya and what's going on with her and not as much action going on in the second season. So yeah, they're still on a mission and they're still undercover, but it's more kind of about kind of trying to trying to locate the target and trying to kind of, I guess, get close enough to actually do something. Now they, they don't, it hasn't been revealed yet uh, as to what what happens to the, whether they catch him or not, um, and so they so they still haven't revealed that. Um, and you know who knows whether or not uh, I. Uh, I, I don't know whether they, I can't remember whether they caught him or not, man. I don't think they did. They haven't revealed it yet. So there might, there might be another season on the way. I'm not sure. Um, but they do get, they do, they do find the guy and they, they, or they do find the, the, the big bad guy and they do kind of get close to him. Um, but there's no, what it like, it feels kind of, it feels like they're not done yet, uh, with this story in the second season. So, it, but it does slow down, which is kind of, um, which is kind of, it gets it's not boring but it just slows down a bit um so yeah okay guys so in this part of the video i will be going into spoilers so if you haven't seen this series uh do go watch the series before you watch this part of the video anyway so like i was saying before uh twilight who's on a mission to stop donovan desmond who is the villain the bad guy who's planning to start a war with one of the other countries, uh, with one of the, the other countries, uh, he, uh, he ends up, uh, he ends up getting close to Donovan Desmond in a school setting because part of the mission, uh, the only, the only way that, that, uh, Twilight can get close or even meet with Desmond is in this part of this school setting. Cause that's where Donovan always holds his meetings and he's part of the, this Desmond high ranking family kind of thing. Um, and so, that is kind of the main focus of, well, at least in the second half, that is the main focus of the video. And then even into the first half, um, they talk a lot about this. Um, and that's kind of where it gets kind of, it gets a little juicier in, in that way where they do a big theme mission, but also slows down a little bit. So he ends up, part of the mission is to start a family and settle down. So he ends up meeting Yor, who is this assassin, this trained assassin who's you know, really crazy, but really awesome. And then also Anya comes in the picture, who is the kid, who's a telepath and who can uh, understand stuff. So they end up having to kind of enroll into a school and kind of fake get married. <laughs> um, it's not, they're not actually married. But the funny part is that there are some things in this story where they actually do feel like a married couple and act like a married couple, but also even though they're not actually married, also they also have thoughts of actually getting married in the in this story, which is really funny too. Um, so there are some really good lighthearted comedy moments in here, uh, and there also is a lot of good character good character development for Diamond Desmond, this big bad dude who's like planning to start a war and everything. Right? Uh, it also is somewhat and like something kind of feels like something that could actually happen, which is kind of funny. So it's a more there's a little bit of realism into, into it, a tiny bit, right? Um, but also, it's a really cool story because, like, both... So, both Twilight and also Yor are also really cool characters and that are kind of badasses, right? But nobody nobody can know, right, that that she's a spy and that, or that he's a spy and she's an assassin and they don't tell each other. They don't have... They don't say anything about it, right? So, they go through this whole entire thing not knowing <laughs> that they're both working for secret organizations which is really fun to watch um and they all are uh, the whole time trying to catch this diamond diamond desmond this like bad dude who is trying to start a war um which is cool and uh and interesting but i feel like there's more to this story because in the second season they don't exactly um 
I can't remember whether they exactly catch him in the end. I okay, guys. So so uh, anyway, so no, they, this show is not done yet. Like I said before, they're trying to catch him, a catch Donovan Desmond. It's not finished yet. There should be a season three, I believe. I'm not hundred percent sure. I had to try to stop for a second to go back to actually make sure. I didn't want to leave out any details or anything, uh, anything important. But like I was saying before, they don't actually get him in. They get close enough to him in the school to actually, to actually sort of catch him, but not quite. So there should be another season coming soon, or at least if they do, if it gets another season, which I, which I hope it does, um, you will find out how they catch him, how they catch Donovan Desmond. But it is really neat because the entire time that this is all happening, right, that they're all kind of working together. And the, the daughter, she knows, she kind of knows everything because she's a mind reader. Um, so she knows that the father, that Twilight is a spy, and she also knows that Yor is, uh, is an assassin. So, she, so you kind of, you can, you can kind of get a, get an idea. And also you can also kind of get like, it's almost like a, like a fill in the blank kind of thing where like the daughter can, can kind of, the daughter kind of connects the dots for you as you being the audience. So you, you kind of know what both sides are doing um, through kind of her mind reading because you can hear everybody, the, the, the voiceover, which is really kind of cool. Um, and then the dog is also an agent, of course, <laughs> uh, which is cool. Well, for, yeah, the dog is also, well, the dog is more of like a, an experiment they did on dogs. And the dog is like super smart and it's kind of like an agent. Um, kind of like an agent himself, which is cool. So the overall show is really, really cool and uh, and good, but my only thing is that it gets really slow during the second season. Um, so that's the only thing I have to say about this show, really. Other than that, everything else was good about this particular series. I don't have any complaints with character development. Uh, all the characters are really cool. Everything is really awesome. So if you're looking for another show to watch, I highly recommend this one. Check out Spy Family. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and do you like the kind of James Bond feel of this show? Um, do remember that that they are kind of agents. So uh, you do see some ass kicking in here once in a while. They do kick some ass, so which is cool. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and um, on that note, <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, I'm, I have to, because uh, this video is getting a little long. Anyway, um, so yeah, if you like this series, uh, definitely check this one out. This is just something different and something new. Um, one of the shows that I really enjoyed. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I will leave the rest of this kind of up to you guys. Did you did you guys watch this show? Did you check it out? It came out in twenty in twenty twenty two, fall of twenty twenty two. So um, let me know what you guys think about this one. And, um, yeah, it did get an award in the Country Roll Awards, um, so, which is kind of awesome, so, yeah. Uh, and with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have not, if you have not yet, uh, please do, where's my freaking button here? Please do, get over here! And subscribe, because there's more. Um, anyway, um, so, yeah, uh, and I, with that, guys, I do have another video coming, and, uh, hopefully it should be sometime soon. I am planning to do a thing about Trigon should be the next video. So yeah, if you guys have not get, have you, if you guys are not subscribed, please do get subscribed. Otherwise there might be some. <laughs> anyway, uh, and with that guys, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hi there. Please subscribe or follow DNA Anime Blog and DNA Studios on all of their social media platforms. Okay, bye!